Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new speed building video. This one is going to be focused on the tiny living stuff pack that came out not that long ago. I really want to incorporate the new stuff onto the series as it comes out as it is the only sim series that I'm doing on the channel at the moment. And for this one, we actually get bonuses for building a tiny home. Bonuses that I wanted. And this pack in particular, it just seems so fitting for legacy, it's the start of a legacy. Because when you start a legacy, you build a four block square, and you put a toilet, and a shower in it, and, and that's your first home. <laughs> but in this case, I have already started my game and uh, my sim already has money. I can't just build a cubicle for her. <laughs> but I still wanted to build a tiny home for her. And so I did. I gotta say this was a complete journey. It took me three tries to end up with this house that you are seeing right now. At first I missed the point completely that the house had to be tiny. Uh, I completely missed that and this was what I did. Not tiny <laughs> whatsoever. And I didn't get the perks that I wanted so... I had to push further and I I tried to build a micro home and I succeeded but the only problem with this house was when I test tried the house because when you build the house you know things can look great but then when you play in the house things may not work and Sims may not be able to walk through stuff and that's what happened here when the bed is down Pets can really go over to the other side and sleep on their beds or scratch their nails. And you know, the game already frustrates you enough, you don't want to frustrate yourself. So I decided to spare myself of that, off of that inconvenience and try for the middle turn. The tiny home, which has 64 blocks as the limit. And you know, building a tiny home is not super hard because you can use the outdoor space to put other furniture and put other activities in. And there's a few tricks that you can do to make rooms that really don't count. That is, if you're on ground level and not if you have a foundation. Because if you do, everything counts. But man, I really want a round balcony. I don't know why, but when I got to my third build, I got in my head that a round balcony would be really sweet and without it my house would be really lame. <laughs> and even though the balcony is round, the blocks still count. So the actual building portion of the house wasn't hard whatsoever. I knew that I wanted a round balcony and with my past builds, <laughs> I kind of had like an idea of what to do here to make the house tiny and still make it so that I would like it. Even though the roof at the front, at the entrance of the house was kind of annoying me, but I do fix that. Because you know, the wall goes diagonally, but the, the roof is, it's just, it just goes straight. I do fix that eventually. I really wanted the house to have a modern feel, so I added in a lot of windows, which created another problem. My sim, although she's not super famous, her boyfriend is, and I want him to move in with her, so I still wanted the house to have some privacy to it. And big windows just don't scream privacy, but I figured if I put some plants on, around the house and put some fences, like, we should have some privacy. Now, if you don't know, this house is for my very berry family. And my very berry series is actually a berry themed let's play. So I'm playing with berry sims and every single generation is focused on a color. And this first generation, the color is pink, but the next generation color is purple. So I wanted to use both of those colors on this house. So if you're wondering why everything is so pink and purple, that's why. And as I said before, it's not super hard to build a tiny home because you can take advantage of the outdoor space. So I actually built a backyard area where we're gonna have some activities. And Poppy, which is my sim, she she's gonna get into the gardening skills. So I wanted to I wanted her to have an area for her to garden and work on her skill. And I also wanted an air, a play area for the baby that she's about to have <laughs> so the cells had to have a kitchen dining area slash living room i also wanted a bathroom a bedroom an office and also nursery so you know even though it's a tiny home we still have a lot of divisions uh is it a bit cramped yes <laughs> 
but we're, near, we're not here to talk about that. So you're seeing me work on the kitchen. Everything is super pastel and, cu and cute on the kitchen. I really love what I did here. Really proud of it. I am a sucker for pastel colors, so... <laughs> Seeing everything all pink and blue, teal colored, it's just, it warms my heart, I love it. Now for the bathroom, I actually wanted to try something different. So my sim also has a cat and her boyfriend has a dog. So we're gonna have two pets living in this house. And one big thing about taking care of a dog is we need to give them baths. And the only way to give them baths is by using a bathtub. So I wanted to get a bathtub, but I also wanted to have a shower. So what I did was that I divided the bathroom into like two areas and I put a fence in so that, you know, the ideal would be to have the Sims 3 platforms that we had so that we would have one part of the bathroom that, you know, there can be water on the ground and it's completely fine and then have one other area of the bathroom which is a little bit higher so that the water doesn't really get to that level and on, the, and on that level we have the toilet and we have the sink and the rest is just a shower and bathing area. That was the ideal thing, but we don't have platforms in Sims 4 like we had in Sims 3. So my solution was to put in a fence in the middle and just, you know, make it seem like there's a difference in height between the two floors, but yeah, I tried. <laughs> For the bedroom, I wanted to use a new Murphy bed that we got with the university. Still haven't taken a look at all the stuff that came with that pack. And you can see me adding in a fence on the outside window of the bedroom so that you can really peek in to see what's going on inside in the bedroom. You see me trying a few different things, see what will look best. And on the room next to the bedroom, that's gonna be an office because my Sims boyfriend is into technology, is in the tech career career, so I wanted him to have his own workspace. It's a really tiny room, but it, it gets the job done. It's just a, a room with a desk and a computer. That's really all you need. And then we have the nursery. I. At first, I really tried to go with the same color scheme that we had with the rest of the house, purple and pink, but I really couldn't get to look at it the way that I like it. So in the end, I made it really, really colorful. And right after this, you're gonna see me work on the backyard, which is just gonna have the gardening area for Poppy to plant and level up her gardening skill. We're gonna need that for the first generation. But this was the house. If you guys want to get it, it's gonna be in the gallery. My username is CLOL96. But if you don't want to go to the gallery, I'm also gonna upload the tray files on the video description. That is all there, including the CC list. Or maybe a link to the CC. I don't know how much CC I use. If it is too much, I might upload into... I might make a Google document file. <laughs> it's just easier that way. And until the next video, Goodbye, everybody. Take care.